What's up YouTube? Video 2, or maybe video 3, depends which way I release these things, I'm not sure right now. So, before, in my first video, if you watched it and if you stayed to the end, you probably knew that the ASRock 4-core VST motherboard just didn't work on the SATA ports, which means I had to abandon it and go back to the A bit I had. Which is fine, you know, it's a PC just for playing retro games, a Pentium 4 on a DDR1 board is fine for that kind of thing. But I had this ASRock sat there with a dead SATA port, and I knew that the IDE ports worked because the IDE CD-ROMs I had and DVD drives did work, I just now have the hard drive to test it with. Blah 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 blah. I bought a IDI to SATA adapter, and I bought a PCI to SATA card, so I guess we can hopefully get the SATA drives working on it, and if that's the case, I can probably build the most powerful AGP socketed motherboard available. Hmm. Right guys, let's uh, get some components on the table. Okay, what we got, what we got? Alright, we got a... What the hell is this? I don't, I don't even know what this this is. Like, I know it's a quad core. It's never been... <laughs> well, it's definitely not Alice 15 2012 movies. It says Ray on it, so I presume they mean Blu-ray. See if I can get some light on this die up near the camera. Okay, looks like you can see it. It's the X3220 Xeon. 2.4 gigahertz, 8 megabyte cache. Okay, so that's that part sorted. Hopefully I've got some thermal paste, so this is going to be the shortest video ever. Um, ID DVD ROM gyro for installing Windows. Uh, what else do we today? Okay, what do we grab first? We've got some jank power supply. No idea what this is. Oh, go oh god, it's trust. 570 watts dual fan. Okay. Hopefully that'll muster power for the bills. Relevant cable unopened. The do Azrock 4 core. What is it? What is this? What? Okay, so it's the 4 core dual VST motherboard again, which I've mounted to a Perspex, sorry, acrylic sheet with standoffs. My new test bench. Very cool, right? Right, when we put the Xeon in the socket, it shouldn't fit. Test that theory. What the hell? Um, what? Something's wrong. Oh, I wish I'd do. I'm gonna stop dilly dallying. Let's speed this up. This is really odd and weirding me out. Okay, let's get the. Cooler back on, just tight enough to get a boot. So just go ahead and start cabling up enough to get a video signal and some bias access. So let's start with the 20 pin to the motherboard, follow it up with the CPU 4 pin, 12 volt power supply. Remember, I'm just reducing this to uh, get to a boot. And we need a VJ card, so I'll go grab a VJ card. So, we're gonna go with the FX 5900ZT which I think has 128 megabytes of RAM. Just some more clearance here. Like that. Requires an additional Molex connective power. It's old school, so we're gonna do that.
Okay, option A, PCI to SATA1 connector, option B, an IDE to SATA connector. Um, hmm. Advantages, disadvantages, this will be limited by the IDE uh, bus bandwidth of 133 megs instead of 150. This may be capped from some other reason. On the left, I'm not entirely sure. Possibly capped from the PCI bus, although the bus should carry a lot more data than the IDE. Hmm. Um, to speed things up and to not show a very long extended video and to just solve this problem in the background, I'm going to use this one today and maybe do a video on getting this to work with this board. As this card does not have a BIOS, it will not be detected on boot. So it won't work unless I modify the BIOS of the board and right now I don't have time to do that for this video. Let's just get it working with this and then we can move on to reviews with it. There we go, you set a little turn, that was me turning it on with a power supply disconnected and what that does is it drains the remaining power out of the board. IDI, 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 IDI master, like so, pretty simple, I'm going to use the Molex to plug the power connector adapter, power the uh, device, drives plugged in. I've pre-installed an OS on the SATA drive. I have no idea which OS it is. I guess we're just going to find out. I, I did it a few weeks back, so let's try this out. There's no power. Boot. Hmm. Hoorah! Yay! Super fast! AGP board for reviews! So, thanks for watching my AGP build overview. Um, hopefully it wasn't as long as my, my retro build, which was way too long. Uh, we're not going to go too much back into that though, but... As always, I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope it was a little bit interesting, a little bit fun for you. If it wasn't, I'll try and make uh, the videos a bit more quirky in the future. Because I'm, I'm definitely a quirky guy. But other than that, what else do I need to tell you about? Okay, so the next video will be the review of the NVIDIA FX 5900 VT128 Meg. It's one of the high ends of the 5000 FX series graphics cards from NVIDIA. It's got the same core, I do believe, as the 5950 Ultra card, but at different clock speeds and different RAM dims. So I'll try some overclocking. Hopefully we'll get some uh, decent overclock reviews on it as well, and we'll get some stable tests of default clock speeds as well. Um, hopefully, in the future, we should end up having a chart where I'll have a chart of GPUs and you'll see their performance on low resolution and high resolution. And the cards are capable of playing DirectX 9C, quote me on that, not DirectX 9, not to be too confused, will be reviewed on GTA 4 to push the VRAM to its maximum on each specific card. 
and they will be done at 720p at the moment. Um, in the future, I probably will go back and re-review cards at 1080p, but the reason for that is because my capture card does work at 1080p, but the cabling I got doesn't. And now you're thinking, why? I bought a splitter, realised the splitter didn't work, then bought a VGA duplicator, which worked fine. But the problem is to get to the duplicator, I need to use the splitter because I don't have the right cable adapter between the output of the VGA card and the splitter itself uh, because it's a, I think it's a male input. Yeah, it's a male input to female outputs. What the hell? And GPUs output with female, so I need a female to female cable, which I only have on my splitter. Weird. But yeah, um, I can do 720p at the moment, and in the future I will move it to 1080p. I'm sorry for the upscaling with the resolution, and I hope this description wasn't too long. Anyway, as always, enjoy your day, have a great week, and if you liked it, hit the like. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike, and comment.